Touch gloves, do it now. Islam was so good, but Tabor is a monster. What's next? Should he fire Islam Mahachev? In 2024, we might see Conor McGregor's replica Ilya Tapuria facing off against a more ruthless version of Khabib. Islam Makahachu. I mean, when you look at the division, who makes sense to you in your mind? There is nobody. Dagestani unbreakable wrestling meets Spain's lightning striking prowess in today's video, which will delve into the complete storyline of the Islam Makalachev versus Ilya Topuria clash. Ilya Topuria's fight with Islam is the most interesting and biggest match. So when this whole story is said and done, Islam beat Topuria. Will Islam be the one to beat Topuria? Watch until the end to find out. Ilya Tapuria's journey in the UFC began with a bang as he stepped in on short notice to face Yosef Zalam. Despite the limited preparation time, Tapuria showcased his skills and determination, securing a hard-fought victory via unanimous decision. Ilya Tapuria! Following his successful debut, Tapuria continued to excel in the featherweight division. He secured a first round knockout victory against Damon Jackson and then maintained his winning streak by defeating Ryan Hall at UFC 264. He's very bad in striking. He don't, he don't has knockout power. He's just like the shitty kicks and nothing. Ah! His next opponent was J.E. Herbert, but the result was the same. Ilya won the fight with a brutal knockout in the second round. Paddy Pimblet, win or lose, I wanna fight you next and kick your like I did the last time. Do something, stand up. All you do, you'll do nothing. Unfortunately, Topuria's fight with Paddy Pimblet didn't happen. Bryce Mitchell was Ilya's next opponent. Topuria dominated the entire fight and secured a submission victory in the second round. Josh Emmett might be the hardest puncher in that division. I never ever. heard anything like that. Yeah, he hit so hard. I thought the guy was dead. Yeah, one of the most powerful punchers ever in, in the 145 pound division. Yeah. It feels re re um, really good. I had really, really good preparation for this fight. Tomorrow night is my night to shine in. Josh Emmett was the only one who went the full five rounds with Ilya Tapuria. However, at the end, Emmett couldn't achieve anything different. Topuria won via decision and called out the champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. Alex to defend that belt. I'm the next guy, without any doubt. His world's gonna end and mine's gonna start. It's still Alexander Volkanovsky! On July 9th, after finishing Rodriguez, Volkanovsky called out Topuria and promised to settle their unfinished business. Ilya been running his mouth. If he wants to keep going, I'll show him what's up. I'll squash him too. I rely on my skills. Not crowds, not nothing. Everybody know what you need. Just money, that's it. Before facing Tapuria, Alex had to square off against Islam Makachev once more to save the main event at UFC 294. The Volkanovsky crew, I mean him and Israel, these guys are just absolute studs, man. He jumps in and, and he accepts the fight. It's probably by far the most adversity, to be honest. I've never been this excited. I think I'm gonna be a lot more dangerous because of this. And again, if there's anyone that uh, can do this, it's me. Oh, 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 Jesus. What? Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, Jesus. What? Islam knocked out Volk in the first round via head kick. And that head kick shook up Volk's whole career. Alexander Volkanovsky, Ilya Topuria, essentially a pick him right now on the number shell son and who do you have? I'm taking Volkanovsky. I think we're going to have a long night. I have Volkanovsky as well. Maybe one day you could be a great champion. I'm going to kick your ass first. You'll learn your lesson. Maybe you can bounce back after that. Ilya. I don't think I've ever seen you under these circumstances dealing with someone like this. No, I haven't, which is uh, which is exciting. It's the, the perfect, I've said this all week, that it's just the perfect bounce back for me in the first round in the first round i'm gonna i'm gonna put these lights out really yeah like he said topuria knocked alexander volkanovsky out in the second round and became the ufc featherweight champion and... 
Alexander Volkanovsky did not look the same at all. The Islam fucking head kicked him a couple months ago and knocked him out. And now that's in the back of his head, like, okay, I can get knocked out. After Tapuria finished Volk, Islam tweeted to wish him good luck. But Tapuria responded by saying he would f Islam up. Then Makachev promised to fight Tapuria after finishing Gagey on June 8th. Is there anybody that you've ever watched in the UFC that you marvel at? I'd say Islam. Islam's so scary. I am not just wrestler. I am not just grappler. I always training. I am an MMA fighter. Doesn't matter who. We just want to fight with the best because Islam is the best. Oh my goodness! Islam Makachev. I'm finding him interesting, guys. Makachev's first title defense was against former featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. After that fight, he was criticized heavily by the world. You outstruck him, you outlanded him. In a it, massive way, did, yeah. massive. Did he come out victorious? I was uh, pretty disappointed with that. Hey, what? Oh that's that's insane. God. He got really? robbed. He got fucking robbed. I gotta see my oh two grand. My no, no, no. Oh, shit. shit. You give Volkanovski the third and the fifth. That's easy. The fifth round, hands down, Volkanovski. The fourth round is the deciding factor. Mm -hmm. The fourth round. Yes. For sure. Did yes. you give three and five Volkanovski all day? The fifth? Three and five. Yeah. The whole thing, right? Me moving up, challenging myself, have my moment, and then finish like I did, and then think like, we're going to have this moment, right? Like, yeah. let, let's do it. Yeah, I was ready for it, and I just taken away from it. The majority of people thought Islam got a fluke win, including me. But then, in the rematch, he showed that he is the champion for a reason. And man, did he want this rematch back, and uh, man, did he produce, my lord. I mean, he produced and did something that no one thought would happen, right? If he won, it was going to be a submission, it was going to be wrestling, it wasn't going to be a knockout. And he went out there and he knocked him out in the first round. I feel I am a best fighter in the world now. People will believe my striking, you know? Right now, Makachev is the undeniable pound for pound king in the UFC and Topuria is the new rising star on the roster. After knocking out the former pound for pound number one, there is no reason for these two not to fight each other. It's time! Between Topuria and Makachev, who will win? Write down your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to share if you enjoyed. See you next time.